death is not a failure. In this culture, death is a failure. In the medical system, death is a failure. And it's not. It's part of the human condition. Nobody's gotten out of it. I'm only gonna miss that. I'm only gonna miss Phineas uh, and Ferb and his and Bella and all those guys because they're part of my family. Have you ever wondered what it would be like raising a child with life threatening disabilities? Well, we spoke to a family who's done just that, and we'll explore the joys of life and the challenges of letting go. My husband Bruce and I have raised three sons and lost and buried two. Um, our twins, Mark and Eric, were born too soon. They were born at one pound 14 ounces and two pounds 15 ounces at 28 weeks, so a full three months early. Because they were born too soon, they had cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy means trauma to the brain. It can be anything from not being able to do this to not being able to walk and talk. three kids, three and under, and two of them have disabilities, you quickly learn, try to figure out what's going to be, what your life is going to look like, what's going to be similar, and what's going to be completely different. So our motto was, um, we can do everything anybody else does. It just looks different. It just looks different. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch a lot of games? I watch all of them if I can. <laughs> I like that. Who's your favorite Rocky? Uh, now or, or in the past? Um, Cargo, probably. <laughs> Why don't you share with us what purpose you want this film to serve and the reason behind you wanting to make it? Well, the purpose is to help others. Um, the purpose behind it is that we've learned a lot, whether you call it the, you know, the 25 years mm -hmm. since they were born, or the 44 years of caregiving, 25, 21 with Mark and 23 with Eric, wow. um, because they had individual needs and individual medical and physical and mental health and educational and parenting needs. Um, the, the, and we had two very different deaths. Mark was happy in the morning and gone that night. Eric had... Um, a catastrophic event that we thought he would recover from, hmm. and then he didn't. He, he did and he didn't. <laughs> it was, they call it a frail elderly trajectory. <laughs> Well, 
with, with he, the, the problem, of course, was the, the little Dutch boy in the dike. I mean, you know, you plug one hole and something else springs out, and then you fix that and something else happens. And it was just, it was a cascade effect. Is there anything that you would recommend for people in the beginning stages? So knowledge is power. Um, don't do guilt. Um, it, not being able to feed your children and having them, they got feeding tubes because of failure to thrive. Many people in many situations say that hope keeps them going. By hoping for the best, I could function. Mm -hmm. Where is that silver lining? Where is my Pollyanna <laughs> little piece of glass that throws mm -hmm. rainbows? <laughs> but also having this, the fundamentals and the foundational support so that if we didn't come here, we at least had a safety net mm. underneath us. So the prepare for the worst. Mm. Um, and that's with family, that's with financial, that's medically, um, and that's with supports and services that are government programs. This had been 18 years. It was after high school, so it was 18 years of conversation Right. And, f and 15 years of friendship. Right. And multiple surgery and partners multiple surgery and some partners. meltdowns. And... and you said, what I remember is you said, um, so do they have a DNR? And I said, oh, we're not there yet. And, and I... there's dead silence. <laughs> there's dead silence. <laughs> <laughs> and I probably went... Um, no, it is time. It's past time. We need to talk about that. What advice would you have for people in trying to make that shift from that constant focus of, I'll save you, we'll live, 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 to, okay, now it's winding down? When the conversation changed from doing things for Mark and Eric to doing things to them. Something you wanted to ask her? Yeah, we. Where will you? There he is. Yes. And he's giving you your ring. Oh. Oh, love you. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so even though they had taken him the last, well, a month before he died, they took him back and forth to ICU, one, two. We were going on the third time from Monday to Friday. And that Friday, I said, stop. It had been two years. And I, we'd watched him go from great years to great months to great weeks, to great days, to semi-great days, to hours. And we were doing things to him hmm. instead of for him. It's out of your hands at some point. You can do everything that you've got, the skill and the, the gifts to do, and then you have to let go.
Fuzz and Ever Valerie. Nice game. Hey, you, good game, buddy. Good to see you.